Now, let me take you to an earlier story of uh, some people living in the northeast region fearing of a terrorist attack there. Now, I told you earlier that we are picking info that there's been a ter alleged terrorist attack in neighboring Togo. Elias Utanko, our, our correspondent there, joins us live with some update on that particular uh, report. Eliasu, uh, what do we know now about this alleged attack in Togo? Well, what we are learning is that this attack occurred this morning around 3 a.m. and it, it shooting continued. In fact, we understand these are terrorist elements who engage the, the forces in Togo, the, 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 the security forces in Togo around 3 a.m and the fighting continue up to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we, are, we are learning that this particular incident actually happened uh, on the border with Burkina Faso, Ghana as well, just very closer to uh, our territory in Ghana here. What we are learning is that uh, there have not been any casualties. Uh, the authorities have started, they have been able to assess the area as I speak to you now, and they are now conducting the assessment of this attack. But our sources in Togo, which is closer to the border with Ghana, uh, says that this particular attack uh, they didn't cause the life of anybody. That particular, uh, we, are to, we are yet to confirm that from authorities. And so, yes, this is what happened this morning in Togo. But you remember, this is the third terrorist attack in Togo. Uh, just uh, last month, on the 11th, there was a terrorist attack at a community called Panja, which is also closer to the border with Burkina Faso. This particular attack led to the killing of eight Togolese soldiers and the wounding of several others. We understand 15 of the attackers were killed. And, and in, in November last year, there was also an attack. This, but that particular attack was non fatal Nobody died in that particular attack. And this morning, we are learning of another attack, which we are yet to get the full details for now. All right. Thank you very much, Elias Utanko. Keep monitoring the situation so that we can update our listeners and, and viewers with the latest.